Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 64 comparison video, as I like to call it, Playground Wars. In this video, we'll be taking a look at this game, Saber Wolf by Ultimate Play the Game, released in 1984. Right, I'm going to give you a little bit of guff on this uh, and why I want to do this comparison video. After a Tick Attack, which was 1983, there was a massive, massive gap between releases for Ultimate Play the Game, and that was a massive financial success. Everything went quiet, they kind of did little teasers and magazines and stuff you know, adverts for Save Wolf where they showed no gameplay. Then it kicked in in 1984. All previous games have been around about the five pound mark, but Save Wolf kicked in in 1984, mind, in a massive 995. And it started that big, you know, thing where they did those absolutely massive cardboard boxes, cases with stunning box art, which they became famous for. The idea to make it so expensive was to stop piracy. So basically, they thought they would stop or combat piracy by pricing people out of buying their game. I mean, that to me means you would pirate it. But it was a financial success. All the magazines at the time absolutely loved it. And it's the first true entry into the Saberman series. So you play Saberman, you have to find all these pieces of an amulet around a maze that consists of 256 screens to get past the end of the game or the Guardian or whatever. And you will find the uh, titular Saber Wolf in the maze at some point. Now, why am I doing a comparison against the Commodore 64 version? Why did I say that so fast? And where's the Birth's Feather came from? I'm doing it because it wasn't released on the Commodore 64 in 1985. It was 1984. It was released actually in 1985 under license by Firebird. That's all I could find on it, because I do remember at the time, you know, not seeing it, you know, advertised to come in 64, but having an inkling that it came out. So they let someone else do their game. Although I do know that Ultimate preferred to code for the Z80 processor, uh, which was in the Spectrum, which also probably explains the lack of the 3D games making it to the Commodore 64. Anyway, because I've done comparisons on those, because they didn't exist at the time, but do now, I still want to do comparison on every single Ultimate Play the Game game that I can. And the fact that this was made by another company or came out a year or so later, tis my understanding, correct me by all means if I'm wrong, is what makes it an interesting comparison to do. Anyway, right, so let's get into it. My brother could complete this back in the day. I could not. I absolutely sucked at it. But it's a very important game in the history of Ultimate. And Saberman, right. Where do we want to go? We want to go with Kempston to make it fair, you know, a comparison between both ones. Now, it's a 48k game, so I don't expect too much going on with the music and or sound effects. And I'm going to suck. Zero, start game. Right, live stop left. Right, you got, you got a sword. Now, this was good graphics in 1984. It was loaded for this. It balls hard, by the way. Have you noticed that yet? Look, snake, spider, native. Oh, I've never played this on joystick before. It's a bit. Oh, you can't get. Oh, no, you, you spank. You spank him and he runs away. Now, there is attribute clash, as you would expect. But the thing is. Oh, I woke up the beast and now I'm paying the price. Really? Wow. I forgot how hard this is. Um, yeah, this is hard. And also, the whole point of it was they didn't give you any instructions whatsoever other than you had to find the amulet the the point being you had to find your own way unique i guess i mean that would have pissed me off as a kid but then i never bought it my brother did and it did come in that big fat cardboard case which was amazing look it up if you've never played ultimate play the game is this in the rare replay collection look them up honestly that box art was amazing absolutely piss off this Wow, am I missing a trick here? I don't want to put on keys because I can't remember what they are. Let's be honest, it ain't going to make any difference. The generation of the items is very random, but... 
I got it. No. Don't run when there's an enemy. Stand your ground. Then you trap them. See? Oh, almost. If you keep running and do it, then you just run face forward into death. 1984 or not? Why would you make this game balls horrifically hard? I mean, kids, ultimate kids, were playing this. Actually, no, they probably wouldn't. Who could afford nine pounds ninety five in a uh, in the dark ages? You know, the dark times, the bloody empire, or something. Right, where's zero? I'm having a brain fart. There we go. Still, we can all take from it. It's lovely graphics. Run. See what I mean? The only thing is, they constantly spawn. So stay in the middle of the screen. I haven't got time, so I'm covered there. Yeah, take that, David Attenborough. I just twatted a rhino in the face. What are you going to do about it? Uh, I can't get past him unless I do that, though. Yeah, they constantly spawn. So is that even going to... Can I... Some enemies can't be killed. You can't fire up and you can't fire down. Herein lies a massive fault in the game. I do remember I played this years ago for a gameplay. I don't remember being so shit at it. Plants. Little shop of horror plants. Is there anything... I've got two lives. Is there anything to up my health? No, see, you can't fire up. That's a fault. I mean, I know that it's a classic and it's old school, but that's still a massive bloody inherent fault. Damage I'm doing to the ecosystem, and quite frankly, I don't care because they're all trying to bloody kill me. Oh, f I can't find. I don't even know. What, I don't even four percent. Wow, wow. I don't even know what pieces of the amulet look like. Right, zero. I want Joyce to have to look down at the keyboard. It's on the floor for every bone. So. I have no idea what happened then. Did I get stunned? Is it because I generated where a, fl a plant came out? Can you start putting a fucking rhino there, please? Right, that's it. Take it down. No. This game is a carnage fest. Now, I don't mean to complain about my tools and stuff like that, but like I said, you know, classic or not, that's a pretty big balls up to not let me fire up or down when quite a large chunk of the maze involves going, <laughs> quite ironically, up or down. Straight up. Straight up. Yeah, the damage I'm doing to the ecosystem. But then, as I always say, if it pisses off David Attenborough, I don't care. Until lesser to read the lobby. They're both dickheads. David Attenborough's a bigger dickhead. He likes to talk down to the little man. We don't know what we want. He knows best. Sorry, politics. Right, I'm going this way. Oh, I mean, there is attribute class, but the sheer amount of colour going on the screen at once is super. What the fuck hit me then? Is super you? Oh, that's a sleeping rhino. I thought it was a big chunk of cheese. Seriously, I thought someone left some cheese in the jungle. I don't remember. Jason, he's my brother. How did you complete this? Seriously. Oof! Got that hole up there. I want to get up there. I've got to go this way. you got to go the long way around. Thing is, he just... Everything... Oh, he's up there now. He just broke the rules of fucking physics. Everything is in your way. But particularly with those rhinos, you, you have to take a twat to get by him. I feel my, sl my rage slowly boiling. Hey, I never said this was my favourite entry into the series. So that... I don't know why I'm going right, it's a dead end, isn't it? Oh, I can run that way. Oh, alright, but what's the point? So, no, forget everything I said, you can. <laughs> oh, he's gone that way. You can fire continuously running. You can't fire down, though, or up. Dogs can't look up, points to the quote. That's a pretty big omission from the game, isn't it, really? See, look. Then he teleported in behind me, because of course he would. Got a kind of Pac-Man 
momentum thing. What's in here? Ooh! I've achieved nothing. Who remembered him? He stayed on that screen. Oh, last go, last go before I rip my hair out of my head because the pain is, well, more preferable to this game. Up. Wow. Of all his adventures, Saberman really was a glutton for punishment, wasn't he? Well, I mean, to be fair, though, he, he had to do something about being coming a lichen throat. Despite our lovely graphics. Oh, fuck off. Why are you this hard? Can't kill the native, obviously. No, we're not going that way. And of course, it's the rider by the lump of cheese, which is the rider. Which killed me. No, nope. he's still going. Oh, is that a hand grenade? That's it. I can't face any more. It may be a bloody classic, but it's too fucking hard for its own good. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at the Commodore 64 version. Gonna be quite interesting to see how this looks, particularly since it was made by, well, Firebird. So here we go with Save Wolf from the Commodore 64. As I said, it was released in 1985, a year or so after the Spectrum version, and developed by Firebird under license. Now, I could be wrong on that. I read that on Wikipedia, so obviously everything on Wikipedia, take it with a pinch of salt. But should play exactly the same. It looks like the resolution is smaller and the screen is slightly smaller, but right, uh, one player joystick. Let's get into this. Obviously it's got sit chip music, which you would expect, which is kind of cool. And here's the play, exactly the same, but slower. I'm not immediately besieged by these things. Oh, I don't know what that was. Is that to get me off the screen? Right, so the layout looks the same. Is there gonna, can't, can't kill the natives? Better sound effects, I guess, not massively. Exactly the same game mechanics. Uh, the rhino is flickering. Maybe he's a ghost rhino, and he's down here. Of course, oh, but he's not there. So the lair of the uh, bad guys, that one, no way. You can't kill me when I'm coming into a screen. That's not fair. Same gameplay mechanic. I can't fire up or down, so the inherent fault is in both of them. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, apart from the fact that there's a massive amount of less sprites and they're slower, that this is a port? Is this a port of the Zelic Spectrum? Oh, the random... Ran the random appearance of them is just a pain in the ass. And not only, you know, did they make this 995 to stop you pirating, the fact that it's so fucking hard would have put me off. Of course, I never pirated anything in the world ever because home taping was killing the computer industry. If only you could see the grin on my face. Well, that's a different layout, isn't it? Grin on my face right now. So, it's, it's hard. But clearly it's not quite as hard as Spectrum version. Doesn't, I mean, is that a Z80 thing? It doesn't seem to have the speed. I haven't done Underworld yet on both systems. I've done it on Spectrum, so I can't tell you, you know, if it is a speed thing. Dead end. So that's accurate. But yeah, they don't, don't seem to be going Harry Clappers. They're still kidding me. Right. Come on. Right, twatting him and he still takes damage. This game is to, I mean, don't meet heroes. I have fond, I mean, I remember it being balls hard. I don't remember it kicking me in the nuts quite as firmly as it does at it. It does now, but don't meet heroes because this is too fucking hard for its own good on both systems. Slightly more forgiving uh, on the, the Combo 64 than it is on the Spectrum, but that's like saying being stabbed by a broadsword is slightly less painful than being stabbed by a regular fencing sword. Ultimately, both will ruin your day. That ting noise is getting on my tits as well. Can't stop the rhino. I mean, at least on the Spectrum you had a chance. Hit the rhino, at least. Right. It appears that your fencing skills in this, he was, he, I couldn't even hit him, are um, ever so slightly a tad broken. I mean, how do I round up on a game like this where I shit at both versions? 
well, one, slightly slower on the Commodore 64, but two, on the Spectrum, at least your sword actually does stuff. It's the, the mo it's like flicking people with a cardboard straw in this. Oh, you get stuck on the scenery in both versions. Don't come back, Rhino. Of course he's coming back. See that? I'm just gonna stand still and twat. It, it stood me up facing the wrong way, even though I was facing left before I got to at it. Your sword. It's fucking useless. This game's broken. I don't know that's because I'm... Hey! I don't know that's because I'm playing on the Commodore 64. But... Uh, mini. But... With a control pad for once. Whether my sword actually connects to them is basically... Anyone else's business but mine and my swords. Right, well, i tell you what I can draw... Uh, in a conclusion on comparing both these. I don't know what the uh, the remake is uh, on the Game Boy from 2004. It's like maybe I should get, play that, but not for a few days, eh? But yeah, one, this game is too hard for its own good. Two, clearly too expensive. In 1984. Uh, three. I mean, it's very nice looking. I don't think I've seen Attribute Clash on that Commodore, but it's just. On the Commodore nature, I'm hammering the. What's that? I am hammering the fire button. And whether my sword wants to make contact or not, again, maybe it's a Commodore 64 mini thing, I can't even go there. Um, it's on its own thing. The other thing, which is a really annoying, and it's inherent to the game on both versions, is when those big fuck off animals that you can't kill and natives get themselves into a corner, how exactly are you supposed to go? If it keeps running and chases me all the way across the other side of the screen, I run into a dead end. All I can do is spank it on the ass and it runs and comes back, runs and comes back. Can you tell I'm a little bit pissed off? Do you know what? I like all Ultimate Play the games, but I'm going to say this out loud. Not so much you, Sable Wolf. You are bullseye on the spectrum and you are outright broken on the Commodore 64. Now, without wanting to sound like a bitter old bastard, clearly you can all tell me exactly what I'm doing wrong. But yeah, I'd love to know what you think about this. I mean, did you complete it? I said my brother did, I don't know how. I just want to get by him, because look, I'm going to show you, right? Oh, he's gone that way. Yeah, clearly my brother did, God knows how, but yeah. This as well, can't fire up or down. Why would you omit that from the game? Unless you just want to make it even fucking harder. Oh my God, I've turned into a bitter old ZX Spectrum, man. I'm just going to stand at the side of the road and shake my fist at the cars as they pass. <laughs> anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think, particularly if you had this on either of these versions. Where am I going wrong? Am I going wrong? And is it really that hard or too hard for its own good? I mean, obviously someone beat it back in the day, my brother, but that's out of my scale set. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.